name is John Patelli, drummer and sound generator for Liquid Casing here at Red Flag Studio. I often get a lot of questions about some of the things that I use and how I mount them, so I thought to make a brief instructional video. One of the things that I frequently use is the Peisty Multi Sound Holder. Uh, this, this gadget here allows a numerous amount of sound combinations uh, using a lot of the uh, Peisty attachments. The multi sound holder comes with a clamping rail. This clamping rail affixes to square or round tubing, uh, but it mounts in the vertical position only. Um, it comes with two permanently affixed hooks to hang small gongs and string percussion. On the top of this mounting rail here, there's several wing screws uh, that hold different cymbal different stackers as well as these ports here that work very well for the sound plate holders and the roto sound holders. So I'm going to show you guys today uh, some of the different uh, instruments actually mounted on this and hopefully that will inspire you to come up with some sound combinations of your own. Now some of the pipes, the attachments that I have here is going to be the straight cymbal holder. We have the medium angle cymbal holder. We have the large angle cymbal holder. We also have the the five-arm Peisty cymbal holder, which consists of a base rod as well as the extensions. Now these are magnetic, they're very sturdy. I've never had one come apart, never have had cymbals fly off. Uh, That's really a great, great way to make cymbal trees. Well, another thing we have here is we have the sound plate holders. Now keep in mind these sound plate holders, there's two types of sound plate holders one that works with the sound plate stand and the other that works with the Peisty percussive set stand. The sound plate holder that will work with your multi sound holder is the same sound plate holder that works with the sound plate stand. And last but not least we have the infamous Peisty grommet which is great for hanging cymbals. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to set up some different things and show you some of the different instruments actually and how it all kind of works together. For this sound combination setup, we're using two multi sound holders. We're using two sound plate holders, one base rod, two extension rods. The one I'm basically hanging is a, a three cup chimes, a sound plate, and five sound discs. So, what I've actually done is I've taken my gong stand, I've increased my sound capacity with additional sounds in a very condensed area. Here's another sound setup. Using a single multi sound holder, I'm hanging the accent symbols, finger symbols, and roto sound. Here's another setup using two multi sound holders. We're using the large angle symbol holder. This is holding a 14 inch fast crash. Medium angle, I'm holding the flanger belt. We're using the grommet now that we've uh, strung up to hold the bell chime. We're using the bass rod and the straight cymbal holder to hold several splashes as well as the permanently affixed hooks holding a small gong. So there again you can see that, that I've just increased my whole sound spectrum by using you know, so a lot of the attachments I can go from crashes to flangers to splashes to chimes to gongs all in a very condensed area and still not interrupting you know anything that I'm doing on the gongs. Another neat thing about the multi-sound holders here I have them actually swung at a 45 degree uh, angle uh, because of the hooks and the holes they make great docking stations for you know some of the super rub mallets um, you know, you're able to hold several mallets here. I'm using an M3 and this actually is the M12 that I use for the sound plates. So if I have my sound plates here, you know, I have, you know, quick, you know, access to, to the mallet. So that's just a lot of things that can be done with the multi-sound holders. It's a great invention and the combinations in their uses are basically endless. Here I have the Peisty 7-arm cup chime holder. The 7-arm cup chime holder is a little bit different than the 5-arm cup chime holder. 
Um, the, the seven arm actually has a, a hole here in the center that adapts to a cymbal stand as you can see. Um, the five arm has a welded rod and that welded rod um, works with the multi-sound holder as you know goes into the whole same diameter as this here and also works with the percussion set stand. Um, and then like I say I have the uh, multi-sound holder uh, you know attached to this so you know I've basically been able to expand you know my sound range by having you know different sound combinations in a very very close condensed area so I hope that this has answered some of your questions feel free to contact me at info at liquidcasingmusic.com